Mira Hewlett, Director of Religious Life and Community Services at Dickinson College and her student, Sarah Boyer, received the chance to attend a multi-faith conference held in the White House last October. Thank you for coming, Mira. Yeah. How did you and Sarah get the chance to go to the White House for this multi-faith event? Well, my student, Sarah, found um, it online through the Interfaith Youth Corps, which is kind of the group for um, interfaith work amongst college and high school students. So she found the opportunity to apply, and she applied for both of us. And then a couple weeks later, we found out we were accepted amongst thousands of people that had applied. Wow. And was the event for specifically college students? Yeah, this event was geared towards college students and their allies. So you had to have a student going uh, with a faculty or staff member. Um, because the real hope is that you would bring it back to your campus and talk about interfaith and what is interfaith in our communities and on our campuses. Okay, now speaking of interfaith, you are an ordained Methodist pastor. Mm -hmm. At the campus, do you get to work with lots of other faiths? Yes, my role includes working with students of all different faiths and no faith. Um, we have about 70% Christian students on my campus, um, or who identify as Christian. And then we have Jewish students, which are about 10%. We have some Muslim, Buddhist, and Hindu students as well. So it really has been an opportunity to kind of see the world in a different way. What were some of the main points that you took away from that conference? Well, the theme of the conference and what they really wanted us to take back was what if. And it's a campaign to say, what if people of all different faith backgrounds came together and worked to improve their community? So that it didn't matter you know, what you believed or how you believed, but that you really wanted to come together to do something in your community. Are you going to use any of the information that you learned from that conference for programs to implement at Dickinson? Yes, one of the programs we saw was um, a university out in the Midwest that was doing a Stop Hunger Now event. So we are working to get all of our different religious life groups and campus, plus other students involved, to package 25,000 meals in one day in April. And then also do something with our local food bank as well to kind of bring the local but also the international piece. Okay, well it's great that your student could be so inspired. Mm -hmm. I heard that there was a quote that you also <laughs> were inspired by. Would you mind sharing that? Sure. One of the neat opportunities was we got to go into the White House on um, a day and they really framed the conference um, around the quote from President Obama in Cairo, uh, June 2009. And it says, faith should bring us together. And that's why we're forging service projects in America to bring together Christians, Muslims, and Jews. Around the world, we can turn dialogue into interfaith service. So bridges between peoples lead to action. And that was really kind of, that's what they're trying to do with the interfaith movement, um, is to work with college campuses so that your faith brings you together to improve your communities. Because that's a core of where all faiths you know, go back to and really want to empower others. What is a really great message that you gleaned from that service that you mm -hmm. can just bring together all different kinds of people for the common good? Mm -hmm. So thank you for sharing that with us. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.